Hello and welcome back to our VR beginner series using Unity. In the last video we talked about all of the interaction plugins that we could use and sort of set a foundation for what we're going to be creating, where we're going to be using Unity's XR toolkit to create a simple shooter project. And in this video we're going to be talking a lot about the backend functionality that makes all of this possible in Unity and getting a basic scene working to see if our tracking is working. Now when I initially started this project I knew this video was going to be difficult to do but now, within the past week, Unity 2020 has come out, but also Valve has released a new OpenVR plugin for Unity. So this will make this process a little bit more difficult to explain. But what we'll be doing here is that I'll be showing you a breakdown within 2019, as well as 2020, and hopefully we're going to be answering some questions of what version of Unity should you be using, what headset do you have, and why does that matter? And as of right now, I have an empty project open, and it's in 2019. 4.0. And as of right now, I'm going to give you a rough explanation of what version you should be using and all that stuff. You don't have to follow along just yet. We'll come back to that and we'll do it later in the video. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to edit, I'm going to go to project settings, and then I'm going to go to my player settings. And if you look here, we have this XR settings drop down where we also have this exclamation mark where it says built in XR is deprecated and will be retired in, in a future version of Unity. Use the new Unity XR plugin system instead. You can find settings for the Unity XR plugin system in Project Settings under XR Plugin Management. Now what does that mean exactly? But more importantly, what are the XR settings to begin with? And that's pretty simple to explain. Let's hit this checkbox. Now when we're working with VR and Unity, we need to be able to talk to other applications on our computer about what's happening. And I imagine you've played a few VR games, so that's either going to be the Oculus Dashboard or Steam VR. And these are the pieces of functionality that's going to let our game talk to those services. For OpenVR, this is what's going to talk to SteamVR for us. And Oculus, obviously it's going to talk to Oculus for us. And obviously these are necessary to be in your project if you want it to be VR compatible. The interesting thing about this is that we can have both support for OpenVR and Oculus. And we can also change the order at which they're executed using this little tab here where if we want to check for an Oculus headset first, we can put this Oculus tab first, and if it does, it'll launch the Oculus dashboard. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, that's cool and all, but what are the deprecated settings? Why does it matter? Why can't we just use this XR plugin manager since Unity is obviously warning us about this? And that's a great question. So let's look at that plugin manager really quick. So let's uncheck this. And let's go to that XR plugin manager where this is more or less what I just showed you, but this is the new fancy version. So let's install this. And you'll see, kind of like before, we have an Oculus provider, but we also have these other providers as well. We have one for the Magic Leap, one for Windows Mixed Reality, as well as sort of a testing fake Unity mock headset. But one thing you'll notice is that we don't have one for OpenVR. And by extension, that means we don't have support for headsets like the index or the HTC Vive. However, there is a beta version online that we can get off of GitHub. And to begin with, that already may be a little bit out of scope for this series, but also, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video with the introduction of Unity 2020, as well as this updated plugin, it has made things more complicated. So let's get into that a little bit, where we will first be jumping into Unity 2020. Now here we are within Unity 2020.1.0, where if we go to edit, we go to project settings, you'll see that we're here at our player, and you'll notice that we no longer have those XR settings. And that was expected since Unity had warned us about it. And then we can come down to the XR plugin manager, where we have all of those providers that we saw previously in Unity 2019. And right now, since we don't have those deprecated settings, and by default, the XR plugin manager doesn't have that OpenVR plugin, we don't have any support for those kinds of headsets. But you may be thinking, well, obviously, Andrew, you can just import that new plugin that was just released. Which, on the surface level, yes, you could. And you could install it, and it would look just fine. And to make a long story much shorter, the input pipeline that that plugin is using doesn't work with Unity's XR Toolkit, which is the interaction package that we're going to be using. It previously supported that input pipeline, and it also supported the input system that I showed you in the previous video, where it had the picture of the controller and all the drop down with all the crazy settings and everything. So this is where this has gotten a little bit confusing for the time being. Where if you want to use OpenVR or SteamVR, 
where that's going to be supporting headsets like the Vive, the Index, but also supports headsets like the Rift as well as the Quest if you're using it through a link cable. At this point, we are limited to Unity 2019, which is perfectly fine. It's a perfectly valid option for us for at the moment. But I imagine a lot of people who are watching this say, I want to use Unity 2020. And you can if you're using any of the headsets that are currently in the XR plugin manager. So if you're using an Oculus Rift, an Oculus Quest, whether it's through Link or if you're going to do standalone and you want to build it out to the Quest itself, you can use this new XR plugin manager. However, that's not what I'm going to be doing. To reiterate, I will be using 2019 in the deprecated settings since everyone can follow along with that and it's most likely going to work for them. Now, hopefully I explained that well enough. I tried recording this before and I literally went through all of the GitHub posts and all of that to describe why we can't use the new plugin, but I think it was a little bit too deep for what we needed it to be. But I think the ultimate hope is, as of right now, as things are updated, we should easily be able to update to 2020 if that opportunity arises. But like I said, if you're using Oculus, you don't gotta really worry about any of this. Okay, I think that's enough of the explanation. Let's actually get in engine and actually set something up because I'm tired of talking. All right, so here we are back in Unity 2019.4.0 where this is the version I'm gonna be using. And I'm going to go to edit, project settings. And we had this already set up from earlier. So I'm actually gonna uninstall this really quick. All right, now that that's uninstalled and we're back in our project settings, let's actually do this for real. And this is the part where you're actually gonna to wanna to follow along if you're using Unity 2019. If you have an Oculus headset and you wanna try and use Unity 2020, hold off, we'll be going over that in just a second. And obviously this is already gonna be pretty simple. We're just going to enable the deprecated settings. And for me, since I'm primarily gonna be using a Vive, I'm not going to need the Oculus SDK here, so I'm just going to remove that. All right, now that's done. Let's set up the XR Toolkit. So let's exit out of there. We'll go to Window. We'll go to our Package Manager here. And if you're not familiar with the Package Manager, it basically has a bunch of extra functionality that's not built into Unity since there is a lot of stuff that Unity can do. We can't pack it all in like we used to be able to. So let's go to Our all packages, and then we'll scroll down here. And you most likely won't see it here since it's currently in preview, so let's go to advanced. We'll say show preview packages. And after a second, it should load, and then let's scroll back down. And we'll see it right here is XR Interaction Toolkit. We'll hit install. All right, that looks good, it installed successfully. Let's exit out of here, and let's just set up a quick little scene where we're gonna right click in our hierarchy. We'll go to 3D object. We'll create a plane. Then we'll right click again in our hierarchy. We'll go to XR. This is the functionality that's provided to us by the XR Interaction Toolkit. And we won't be going over this in depth at all. This will be in the next video, so don't worry too much. And we're just gonna create a room scale XR rig. And it's already removed our main camera for us, so that's good. Now let's just hit play and hopefully this works. And now that it looks like it's loaded and you're going to want to check your console when it does because if your headset's not plugged in or it's not recognized or maybe you don't have the right supporting software installed it'll let you know here but like i said i'm going to be using my vive with openvr so it says openvr initialized and if i move my headset around it looks like we're getting some pretty good tracking so that's all been done successfully if you're following along in 2019 you can shut the video off now you don't have to do anything else. But if you wanna hang out and watch us do it in 2020, you're obviously you're more than welcome to. I can't make you leave. So let's open up our 2020 project. All right, so now that we're in Unity 2020, let's do a similar thing where let's go to edit, let's go to project settings, and we already have the XR plugin manager that we installed previously. So if you're using Oculus, you just need to click this little checkbox. Now, if you're using one of these other headsets, I personally don't have any experience with them, so I can't tell you how well it'll work, but you can try and use the Windows Mixed Reality provider here if you have that kind of headset. If you have any issues with it, I'll try and troubleshoot it as best as I can, but like I said, it's not a whole lot I can do for you since I don't have one on my end to test with. But with that out of the way, let's go to the Package Manager. Let's go to Window, Package Manager. 
and you can tell in Unity 2020 it's a little bit different. This is part of the reason why I wanted to make sure I did it for both versions. Where to show our preview packages, we're going to go up to this gear here. We're going to say advanced project settings. And we're going to need to go to enable preview packages. Once that's clicked, we'll go back to our package manager. And we're going to want to show all of our packages. Once we've done that, we're going to scroll down here. We have, we have all these nifty colors now to make things easier to see. We'll select the XR Interaction Toolkit here. And we'll just hit install. And then once it's installed, we're more or less going to do the same thing where let's create a little ground plane. And then we'll create our little room scale XR rig. And there we go. And now if you play this, hopefully your head tracking works in this setup as well. All right, now with all of that, I think that's about it for this video. Hopefully I explained everything well enough. If you're still having trouble or unsure about something, feel free to leave a comment. It could be something that I can include in the next video. But that's it for me. I'll see you in the next one.